Hi guys, it's Amy, Independent Norwex Consultant. So I want to show you guys my bathroom cleaning routine. Generally, you can clean the whole bathroom using just your Enviro cloth and following up with your window cloth and just water alone. Because remember, no toxic chemicals necessary. With just water alone in the Enviro cloth, you can remove up to 99% of bacteria from surfaces. Don't forget that the um, microfiber does have backlog technology in it. So that backlog is going to self-purify the cloth when you're done using it. It's going to inhibit bacterial odor, mold, and mildew growth in the cloth itself. For demonstration purposes though, although you can use just these two, I'm going to be kind of showcasing a couple different options in the bathroom. Now, as I mentioned, these two things alone you can clean your whole bathroom with. We actually have these little minis. Um, and we have them color coordinated in the bathroom. So you wanna clean from cleanest to dirtiest, starting with your mirrors, your sink, your shower or bathtub, and then the toilet last. We actually have a specific color just for the toilet. Some people will use the same Enviro cloth even for their toilet. I personally um, just like one color coordinated for the toilet. So I'm gonna start first with cleaning the mirror. I don't know if you guys can see it. We've got a little bit of buildup on this mirror here. And again, all you need to do is use your wet Enviro cloth, fold it into fours and then clean away. And then after I clean the mirror, we'll go down to the sink and I'll put the camera in speed mode because I'm sure you guys don't wanna watch every single second in real time with me cleaning. Okay, so here we go, clean away. If you did not want to use just water, you can use an all-purpose spray. The all-purpose spray, remember, is a quarter teaspoon, one teaspoon of the Ultra Powder Plus laundry detergent mixed with eight ounces of water. It's something that a lot of consultants and customers do off-label. The detergent is intended for laundry, but there's a lot of off-label uses that you can use it for. So this is my Norwex spray bottle. This is actually really nice. It's a nice glass spray bottle. It's got this silicone grip to it, so it stays in place. But the thing that I love about this is there's a little cap here, and you can actually put this in spray mode or foam mode, whichever one you prefer. So we're gonna move on to the shower. For the shower, you can actually use a bathroom scrub mitt or you can use an Enviro scrub. The Enviro scrub comes in a pack of three, so these are nice because you can use them in the bathroom, in the kitchen, wherever, and since there's three, you can divvy them up. But um, the shower scrub mitt is nice because it's got more of a plush side on one side, but it's got this little pocket too. So this pocket is nice because you can put your hand into it, clean as you go, or if you're really lazy like me sometimes and you don't want to bend over, throw this on the floor, stick your foot in it, ta-da! And you can clean your bathroom floors, your shower floor so that it's easier. What I will also do sometimes too, spray the shower down with my all-purpose spray, take a shower, and then at the talon of my shower, I keep one of these in my shower, and at the talon, I'll scrub away. Okay, so for cleaning the shower, one of the reasons why, if you can get away with using free and clear um, products in your shower, it is nice because a lot of times soap and um, body wash and things like that, it's made from animal fat. It's got fillers in it. So it actually is what creates a lot of that soap scum. Now, Norwex does make something called the Discaler. The Discaler is nice because you can actually spray it on faucet and sinks and it actually is citrus based so it's going to help to pick up a lot of that scum and build up in those areas or like I said you can do just the all-purpose spray or you can use just water it's really up to you it's really your preference so let's clean away okay so for the discaler again you're going to spray it on I would do the discaler first because you really want to let the discaler sit for about 15 minutes um before doing it now normally when i clean before i start with the mirror i'll actually start in the shower spray it down so it can sit start with the bathroom um, mirror and sink and then come over to the shower but again for demonstration purposes i'm just going from one spot to the other <laughs> Okay. 
Okay, and that's it. That's the shower. So I know I sped the video up, but it really was done in a couple minutes. Best thing is that all I had to use was water or that spray. No toxic chemicals. You're not breathing all those toxic fumes that you normally have to breathe in when you're cleaning with other cleaners. Last thing, toilet. Okay, guys, so the toilet. There is a bathroom cleaner. The bathroom cleaner is nice because it's going to help with like soap scum, um, build up, things like that. But I want to show you guys a trick real quick before I get to cleaning. I put a little bit of the bathroom cleaner in the cap. I've got this penny right here. And I'm going to just stick it in here for a minute to show you guys what happens in just a few seconds. The bathroom cleaner just really helps with that build up. Um, it's great with the discaler, it's great to use separately and off label, you can use it for other areas of the house as well. It is highly concentrated, so you can put it in a spray bottle and mix it with water as well. So again, here's that penny, half clean with the bathroom cleaner. Okay, but enough of that penny. Let's go ahead and clean this toilet. We take the bathroom cleaner, put it in the rim of the toilet. You can also put it on this ergonomic friendly toilet brush that Norwex makes. It's nice because it's got this anti-bacterial um, thermal agent to it. It's got this little hook that will fit nicely into the rim itself. And then the nice thing is, is that this brush, because it's silicone based, you're not going to get all that build up on it. It's easier to clean in between uses. And my favorite part is the holder for it is nice because it's easier to clean. So, um, like I had mentioned, we have a mini Enviro cloth that's specific for our toilet. So generally in the past when cleaning the toilet, I use a bleach, I spray it down, I crack open the window, and I just do my best to not breathe in the air. But what we're gonna do is take a little Enviro cloth wet. You can use just water. Some people will use just water. I love my laundry detergent all-purpose spray, so I'm gonna use that. Spray the toilet down. And while I spray it down, remember that we put that bathroom cleaner in it so that stuff can sit while we're cleaning the toilet. So let's speed up this video by cleaning the toilet real quick using just the Enviro cloth. I know that was a quick demonstration. I know it's kind of a long one, but if you guys have any questions, please let me know. Thanks guys for watching.